Hello everybody, it's Kellax in here. If you guys enjoyed this video, remember to join our Discord server, become patrons over on Patreon, and uh, remember to comment down below with your thoughts on what is going on. So speaking of things that are going on, uh, we have a post on the Rooster Teeth website that has some information I think that you guys may want to know about, and obviously since we're playing Slime Rancher, you guys know that it's about uh, Nomad of Nowhere. So uh, let me just read uh, the post uh, per like verbatim so you guys can kind of understand what's going on. So, Nomad Season 1 is 12 episodes in total, and this coming Friday is Episode 6, what we are calling our mid-season final. After this week, Nomad will go dark for a while to return later in the summer with the back half of the season. This week's episode is a natural end for our first arc of the season. You'll get some cool development, backstory, and some other things that raise the stakes. In the meantime, you got Camp Camp and a few... A few months ago, Gray released, uh, Gray teased the fact that we were working on a Blu-ray combo pack of Camp Camp Seasons 1 and 2, uh, and so, uh, that will basically be out Tuesday, uh, May 22nd. Uh, and so if you're trying to catch up on Camp Camp, um, that, that's a good, that's a good thing to do. I, I guess I wasn't reading it as, like, word for word as I thought. Anyways, uh, so speaking at Camp Camp, Camp Camp is going to premiere, uh, on Friday, May 25th, uh, season three of, uh, Camp Camp, that is. So, just to recap, Nomad of Nowhere episode six is the mid, uh, season final, and that's airing on Friday, that's tomorrow. Nomad will return later this summer. Camp Camp is getting a one and two Blu-ray combo pack on May, uh, 22nd, and Camp Camp season three premieres May 25th. So, that's a little bit of a mouthful, so let's kind of go over why. So there has been some speculation on Twitter, and by on Twitter, I mean just Eruption thing, that it probably has to do with, like, letting RVB really breathe because it is starting back up again. So that's something that he mentioned, uh, and I think that's a pretty, uh, good idea. The other thing, though, is because Camp Camp is coming out basically in a month, uh, first of all, you need the slot. Nomad of Nowhere comes out on Fridays, right? And, um, obviously Camp Camp, I think... I'm pretty sure used to also premiere on Friday, so basically you just need to get rid of Nomad of Nowhere to get, uh, Camp Camp back into its usual slot, so to speak, right? And so I think that that makes sense. But why are they stopping it now, then? Because it's a little early, right? I think that, well, first it won't be that early, because there will be a, an episode next week on YouTube, so it will be a shorter amount of time. But at the same time, we have to remember that Nomad of Nowhere is sort of working... Uh, with the same sort of, I think, team that, uh, Camp Camp is working on because it's still both the, um, how, how do you call it? Uh, the, uh, 2D, uh, animation department, right? Both of the shows are in 2D, uh, so it could be like, okay, so we'll put Nomad of Nowhere on a mid-season break, we'll, you know, do the finishing touches on Camp Camp, like, really go ham on Camp Camp, whatever, and then we'll focus on Camp Camp and then come back to Nomad of Nowhere at a later date, right? And I think that part of this is them trying to juggle like, first, making sure the animation team isn't, like, exhausted, right? Because this is sort of what happened with Ruby Chibi, right? Ruby Chibi went on hiatus for Nomad of Nowhere to some extent. Nomad of Nowhere goes on hiatus for, um, for, uh, Camp Camp, right? So I think that that's part of it, right? And so it's the slot, and then I think it's making sure people don't get overworked, and it's also not wanting to come out with too many things at once, because right now, like, RVB is obviously a big thing. I'm not a big RVB fan. I'm just sort of getting into it if you guys have sh seen our videos lately, right? Um, and then you kind of have all of these new shows to juggle because usually it was just Friday and Saturday, right? Like, it was Camp Camp and then it was Ruby Chibi. But now they basically have Genlock, Nomad of Nowhere, Ruby Chibi, and Camp Camp. So they kind of have to juggle all four of their new, and obviously Red vs. Blue, right? But they obviously have to juggle all of these different shows within the limited slots that they have, so to speak right? And so I think that that kind of makes sense. I am sad, though, because I really like Nomad of Nowhere, and I love Camp Camp, don't get me wrong, but, uh, I am feeling like 
a little a little down about it, you know what I mean? I think that things are getting interesting, and I think that makes sense, too, is that y you kind of have almost, I don't want to say, like, a rising action, but that's sort of exactly what it is. Like, you have some tension rising here with the last episode. You guys, if it, it's not out on YouTube yet, so as of this video, so I won't spoil it, but, like, you, you kind of get the idea that, like, we're going into some sort of, like, end or, like, uh, climax, like, in terms of it's the uh, middle sort of of the of the er, of the season I should say and so it's the end of an arc but also the climax for the middle of the sh of the uh, first season so to speak so there's that and so I think that that does make sense like even if you look at the last episode you can sort of see things are like slowly rising up and then uh, they're going to something's gonna happen on Friday that's kind of all that's kind of all there is right and so. I think that, uh, most people's reactions are, like, feels bad, nomad of nowhere, like, because I think most of us weren't expecting this, and, like, that's kind of how I'm, like, I'm just a little sad about it, but at the same time, Camp Camp is, like, a very mature sort of, like, show, right, like, Nomad of Nowhere could be targeted for kids, but for some reason people think Camp Camp's for kids. Guys, it's not. Like, it's just not, you know what I mean? Like, if you watch it, you'll know why, right? It's sort of like, it kind of tricks you. Like, it looks like it's supposed to be in, like, a cartoon-style animation that you may have seen on, like, Cartoon Network or, like, even, like, Disney Channel or whatnot. Like, you know what I mean? And then it's like, gotcha, bitch! Like, it's like that, right? Uh, whereas Nomad of Nowhere is more of a, like, a for-everyone sort of show, despite sort of the darkness <laughs> in the last episode, right? And so it is gonna be nice to kind of have that change and have sort of Camp Camp, um, come in and sort of be a, a more adult, uh, show for us to watch. Um, and so, yeah, that's just kind of all I had to say. I don't want to kind of prolong this video past, uh, what is really necessary. It is, again, it is kind of sad, <laughs> like, you know what I mean? I don't know, it's just sad for me. Uh, but yeah, I don't want this to go on too long, uh, and so anyway, if you guys enjoyed this video, uh, make sure to, I guess, comment below on your thoughts on the news, like, are you sad to see Nomad go? Were you not really into it, and so you're glad to see Camp Camp coming in and saving the day? Why do you think you're doing this? Do you agree with why I think that they're doing this? And we will see you later. Bye, guys.